Hey everyone, Kim here. Um, today's video, I just want to show you some ways that you can secure your caravan and deter thieves from stealing it. I've got a few different ways that I do, you know, secure my caravan, so I'm deterring them. Obviously, um, you know, if these thieves really want your caravan, they'll go to extreme measures to steal it. But what I've learnt is it's all about deterring them, how hard it's going to be to steal your caravan, all those things, you know, that's what... Uh, whether or not they're going to steal or not, the decision they make. So you want to make it as hard as possible is what I'm trying to say. And I've got a few different things here that I do, and uh, I'm just going to show them. So I'll take you through it. Okay, first up, we have a wheel clamp. Um, so this wheel clamp is from Purple Line. It's very solid. It's a little bit heavy, um, but it's actually not too bad to install. You can definitely install it by yourself. Probably only takes a few minutes to do it. Um, but it definitely looks, you know, when you see it on a wheel, on a wheel, you're going to go, Jesus, you know, it's, uh, it looks like a lot of work to remove it. So let's, let's get to it and I'll show you how to, how to install it. So these are the parts that it comes with, your wheel clamp there and the cover and your locking bolts and your Allen key. All right. So let's put it together. So first things first, you want to get the clamp on, it sort of grips around your wheel like this and you loosen the, the uh, bolt inside here, which opens up the jaws, and you want to wrap it right around your tyre. Once you've got it clamped around your tyre, you just want to tighten it up through there, and so it's very tight. Yeah, using this tool here, you just want to tighten that so that the uh, jaws are really tight. Alright, so now that you've got the jaws tightened up, it's just put the arm on. And you just sort of line it up with the center of the tire there. Can be slightly tricky with different combination of rims here, but you got to find that slot. And it has a little groove in there, which lines up with a hole on your actual jaws here. And then you just simply tighten it up like that. Okay, now that it's all tight. There's no way that's coming off. I mean, the only way to get that off, if I was trying to get it off, would be with a grinder. Obviously, a grinder is going to be very noisy. And it's going to take a while. So, you know, it's a deterrent. They want the easy way. They don't want a hard way. So, this is all about, you know, making it hard for them. Right, now we've got that all assembly and it's on there very tight. The next thing is to put this special lock in there which will sit in this section here so they won't be able to access this allen key bolt okay let's put that in so this special bolt here is that with a hole pin that's the key that they give you and it's quite a bit of weight in there not too bad but it's a solid lock and once again uh, once it's in there I mean it'd be very very hard to uh, cut that out I reckon all right now we've got the lock on there that's the type of key obviously not your simple sort of key you can see in here locks in there and that's pretty much it it's actually clamped inside there you know that and on the other side so that ain't gonna be easy to get off yeah sure somebody could get it off but they're not gonna be uh, taking it off without any noise and time all right so there's one way to secure your caravan the other way is your hitch 35 hitch um you know needs to be a special uh pin in there to be able to lock it okay so i went with the cruise master uh generation 2 lock it's a do35 lock and this thing is so sweet and easy basically just locking pin locks like that you can push that little tab like that and that'll lock it in there then you just tip it up like that gonna be a bit hard with the phone but essentially just sits on like that but you need the key hold up all right got the key so that's the type of key and you can see there locks in 
comes with a dust cap as well. You can also spray some silicon in there or a little bit of WD-40 just to keep the dust out. I mean, that ain't coming off easy as well, eh? That's not going to be coming off easy without a bit of noise and time. All right, so it's all about deterring them from stealing your caravan. Uh, like I said before, if they really want it, they'll probably get it, but you want to make things hard for them so that they won't bother with your caravan or your vehicle. So we've got a wheel lock on there, a DO35 hitch uh, lock. And another thing you want to do is remove your jockey wheel. You don't want to have your jockey wheel connected to your caravan because that's something that, you know, if they're going to come up with their stolen car and they're going to reverse in here and take your caravan, um, that's going to be a good thing for them because they can help them get it onto their, onto their own hitch. Um, yeah, so you don't want to have your jockey wheel on your caravan. You want to put your stands down, lock it up somehow, but take away that adjustability. All right, my third tip would be to get a GPS tracker for your vehicle, either your, for your car or your caravan or whatever it is. These things are small, you can hide them anywhere. Relatively cheap, pretty cheap as well, but worth their weight in gold because you can find out exactly where your caravan is or your vehicle or how, how fast it's going. Where's it been? You can backtrack all your dates and I'll show you on the app. Okay, so this is the app. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a fair bit of detail in there. There's heaps of settings you can change or you can just keep it pretty simple. But you can change the map, the satellite versions. There's a few things you can do. Um, so at the moment I'm just down the beach and it's just at the moment it's purple because I'm not moving. Um, you can actually create a, um, a fence here. Basically, you know, if, if this vehicle moves, a caravan moves, you will get a report straight away when it moves. When it, whenever it moves out of this location, you'll get an alarm straight away with an address. Same as the, same as the parking monitor, so you can, you can enable that as well. So, there's a few things you can do. You go over to your history here. Click on the dates that you want, if you want to look back. Um, some certain dates, there is a certain amount of um, time you can look back. Uh, I only connected this GPS back on the 29th, so that's why it only highlights the 29th. But if this GPS was on for months, it, it will actually show you the details way back as well. I'm not exactly sure how far it goes back. For instance, let's just do today. I went for a cruise along the beach, enabled it. And you can see there, shows where I've gone along the beach here. And all you got to do is click on one of those little uh, reference points. And it will show you some detail down there. Click on those three dots on the bottom. And it will tell you some details, the signal um, strength of the GPS. How fast I was going, so 44.7 kilometers there. Uh, along the beach is 1.29 kilometers and the voltage of the GPS as well. You can click along here as well with the little right button and it can show you some more details. On, and it's pretty much ended right here at the beach, right at the point. So very cool app, I like it. There's heaps of different apps out there guys. So I'm not just telling you to buy this one, but this is just the one that I use. It's pretty handy. You just need to um, you need to um, get a new SIM card or not a new SIM. Oh yeah, you can put a new SIM card in there, but you just need to um, get the Audi five dollar SIM card every twelve months. It doesn't use much um, data at all, actually. I was very surprised about that because I was thinking five a five dollar uh, Audi SIM card wouldn't last very long, but actually it lasts a whole year. All right, so you've seen it on the app, uh, what it can do. And the beauty about these things, you can hide them in places. Now with a caravan, lots of different places you can hide this. You can do the most simple thing and hide it on your battery there if you wanted to, or inside the thing uh, on some sort of battery source. But I mean, if you're smart about it, you'd probably wire this to a little battery, you know? And the reason why I say that is for us, like, let's just, for instance, they come here, they disconnect your battery, you know, thinking that maybe you do have a GPS tracker. They'll disconnect that battery thinking they're all sweet, but actually you've got a hidden little 12 volt battery inside your caravan that is getting charged all the time. It's hidden little battery, will probably wait uh, last weeks in there. Um, and there's certain places you could hide it and that would just run this little GPS unit. And that would be the smartest way to do it. And that's what I've done. So I've hid this GPS in the caravan on a little battery 
and um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be, you know, that's going to be very useful when you, if it ever happens, and you need to find out where your caravan or vehicle is. So pretty simple as you saw on the app. That's definitely what I recommend. You don't have to get this brand, obviously, but just get yourself a GPS tracker. They're so cheap. I think this was like five dollars worth of credit. It lasts a whole year, and then you just recharge it every year. Five bucks. It's a good insurance policy for any kind of vehicle. Last little tip I would say would be uh, some security cameras. Yes, they're not going to stop anyone. They'll take it with security cameras. I know that. But it just gives you a bit of an idea and also can help uh, track the people down if you have some sort of camera. So you really want to install your cameras. There's so many different type of cameras. You know, cameras up here, you know. You can have cameras on everything but yes I know it's not going to stop them but it's more just to give you information and what I would recommend if I was if if it was me building a new caravan I would get a camera put right here a 3g camera and that can keep a visual on the front of your camera all the time all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video there's some ideas for you I'm sure you guys might have your own ideas how you guys secure your caravans. Let me know in the comments if you've got some tips on securing your caravan. But as I said, it's all about deterring them and slowing them down. And, uh, you know, if they're seeing all the stuff they have to do, it's less likely they're going to come and take your caravan. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya.